Well, apparently it's not a uh, good weekend for refrigeration uh, devices for me. It's a little cooler than I uh, showed all of you last week. It was working good. Not working anymore. <laughs> it's done. Toast. History. Doesn't want to work. Doesn't want to turn on. I don't know. I haven't good look at refrigerators over the past couple days. I love these chocks. They're awesome. Got the little handle on them. Hey there everybody. How's it going? I hope all's well on your side of the screen. Things are pretty good here. It's Monday. And right now I'm in Buffalo. I'm getting unloaded. Well, actually waiting to get unloaded. They haven't started unloading me yet. And getting here was... Well, not really tricky, but the directions I were given were to stay on this one road, and at one point the road turns into a route, and at that intersection there are no signs saying that this road goes that way. So, but I got here, got here safely. It is what it is. I had a blind side to get back in. So, got it done. This weekend was pretty awesome. Went camping, even though we got rained on a little bit. Still had an awesome weekend. It's always awesome camping. Nothing beats sitting around a campfire with good friends and a few frosty barley pops. Nothing beats it. Got home from camping and found out that our refrigerator had died. Completely dead, kaput. It's blowing hot air and uh, we lost uh, everything inside the fridge. All spoiled and went bad. My wife threw out five bags of garbage. Uh, five full garbage bags. Sorry, I lost my train of thought here. I was watching this guy pull out. But, uh, so basically we have to go out and buy a new refrigerator and go grocery shopping, which is awesome. We always wanted to do on a Monday. <laughs> so hopefully I'm not, you know, out too late today. But yeah, right now I'm just sitting here waiting to get unloaded. And I'm not sure what I'm doing next. And, uh, it was in the mid-80s over the weekend. And now it's 52 degrees, so Mother Nature must be bipolar. Alright, well, I rambled on long enough. I lost my train of thought watching the trucks drive by completely. Forgot what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about something and <clears throat> gone. So I'll just quit while I'm ahead. Hey, I've been here for an hour and 15 minutes. They're going to finally unload me. All right. Who wants to be a truck driver today? <laughs> Still rather be doing this than the yard dog stuff. No matter what Eddie Gladhand says. Come on back, old thing. He's got it. Good job. Good job indeed. This is gonna be a fucked up day. Oh, every day is a messed up day. <laughs> okay. 
So anyway, made my delivery, had a 9 a.m. appointment. Got there at 8.55, got back then, bumped the dock at 9.05. Got the red light at 10.15, they started unloading me at 10.30, finished about 11.30, went to get my paperwork, and was asked when my appointment was. I told them that it was 9 o'clock. They told me that they didn't have me down for an appointment today, but they had me down for an appointment on Friday. So I just told them, hey, I go where they tell me, you know? And then the forklift driver comes up to me and goes, I unloaded you as a favor, normally we would refuse those loads. Okay, thanks, I just said thank you, you know, on my way. Now I'm over here on the other side of Buffalo, and I'm picking up a load that's going back to the Syracuse yard, even though they would like it down at HQ. I don't have the time or the hours to go down there today, so who knows what's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to make me take it down there, or just back to the yard, hopefully just back to the yard. Oh, what a messed up day. Actually, it's not messed up, it's not too bad. Just the whole appointment thing, just whatever. Ooh. Well, today's the day of hurry up and wait. Got here at 12.15. It's now 20 after 2, and they just started loading me. <laughs> oh, gotta love it, right? Well, you don't have to love it. You just kind of deal with it. Holy cow. All done here out in Buffalo. Got here 12.15, backed in a 10 of 1. It's now 3.15 in the afternoon. I am done here, and I'm taking this load back to Syracuse, and I believe I'm going to call it a day. Call it something, I don't know. It hasn't been a bad day, just a lot of waiting, which is what you get with this job. Nothing to get upset or all bent out of shape for, you know, just hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. It happens no matter where you go, unless you're doing a lot of dropping hooks, and then even sometimes you can wait if you don't have an empty or whatever, or if the load's not ready, then you can wait. So. This is a heavy load. 44,000 pounds. Just over. I used to come to this place when it was a uh, different company that ran it. And you used to have to use the phone at the gate up here to get into the gate and out of the gate. Now you just drive on through. No stopping required. still have the old phone set up there though. Oh, wires are disconnected. That's pretty groovy. Looks like it's been hit a couple times. <laughs> Alright, enough of this. I gotta uh, boogie on down the road. Whew. So I'm back here in the yard. And funny thing. Got this new dispatcher. I think I was talking about him last week a little bit. He's the one who uh, sent me out to Champlain when I told him I didn't have enough hours. Well, I've had the same trailer all day today. And I called down the dispatch to let him know that I was back in the yard with the trailer, with the load that I picked up. And he's like, well, where'd you get that trailer from? I explained to him that that's the trailer I've had all day. I took it out to Buffalo, got unloaded, and then I picked up the load and brought it back here. Oh, yeah, 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 it's, it's all right here. Okay, you're, you're good. But uh, it was actually a pretty decent day, even though I did wait a lot. And there's a lot of craziness going on out in Buffalo and Rochester. Uh, Buffalo, some guy in a prison or jail escaped. So uh, state police were going through cars and trucks on the freeway at the cash box. And then in Rochester, some kid, I guess, mid-20s, was shot by a police officer because he had a gun. I don't know. So... Needless to say, some guy got shot in a mall parking lot, and then about an hour or two later, a car exploded in the same parking lot, but like the next lot, lot over. Totally unrelated. There's a lot of weirdness and craziness. 
It must be this whole full moon or strawberry moon or whatever that it is they're calling it. A lot of uh, weird things going on, but uh, my day is done and over with. My wife's currently out shopping for a new refrigerator, I believe. And of course my cooler thing died this morning. So it's not a good uh, day or weekend for cooling appliances. But uh, I'm done. I'm gonna go get something to eat, make like a fetus, and head out of here. I'm going home. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. See ya.